I noticed in our master bathroom late at night, every once in a while, I could hear the toilet running. Well, to start off, you gotta take the back off. And that's it. The one thing you gotta do is shut the water off. We don't have shut off valves here in my area. It's the push pull things. I don't really know where to put it. I don't know where I'd like to put it, but anyway. <laughs> Water coming back in. Yeah, water coming back in. Uh, if you guys remember back, I had a video where I made a, a comment about somebody having these um, high water bills all of a sudden, and the villages are usually will say that they probably got a leaky toilet. Well, that may be true or may not be true. I can't speak on that too much, but I mentioned on that video that I noticed in our master bathroom late at night, every once in a while, I could hear the toilet running. By that, I mean the bowl trying to fill back up again. Not a lot, but it's just a little bit. And if that goes on 24 hours a day, it could be a problem. So I came in here and I cleaned off the seal. You're in your hand around it. You can feel kind of like a little bit of a slime on it. So I cleaned it off and put it back together and it seemed okay. And I haven't heard it run since, truthfully. But today, I'm going to replace that, that seal, and put a new one on. I haven't had one on here for almost 10 years now. And this is what they look like. You go up to uh, Ace Hardware. Those guys are just super fantastic. All these toilets are the same here, and it's got to be replaced every so often. So I think today I'm going to go ahead and I got two of them. Just to show you here, I got two seals, one for each bathroom. Uh, I've replaced them before. They kind of can be a little tricky, and they kind of can be a little scary also, because when you take it apart, you think you're going to break some plastic piece in there, and if you do, you're kind of screwed. Hopefully this will go right and I won't break anything because if I do, I'm screwed. So let's get to it and see what we can we can figure out here. Well, to start off, you gotta take the back off. And you can see what you got. So I don't know if you can see it. See that yellow ring way down there? That's where you gotta replace it. And this is a, what I think I call it a one gallon flush. And it allows one gallon of water to go down there and flush the toilet. Let me show you so you kind of get an idea. And that's it. And as you can see, that rubber seal down there is the only thing that keeps water from going down there. This here is a screw. You can turn that. And it raises the water level ball up and down to adjust it so the water does not go over this. I've seen so many toilets here, and mine was that way when I bought the house, I changed it. That the water level will come all the way up to the very top of this. Well, if it comes up just a hair more, slowly but surely, the water overflows here and goes down here. And it just goes into the toilet. And so it comes back on. And it just, it just keeps doing that. And it just keeps recycling itself. So I turned it to where it's about a half inch below the top of that. Half inch seems to be good for me, so I just left it there. It only uses a gallon to flush anyway. It's almost at the top. They fill up rather slow, really. And there you go. It just stopped right there. And as you can see, the water level here, I'm kind of, so you can kind of get an idea, that's where it stops. Let's get our tools and see if we can replace this thing. The one thing you gotta do is shut the water off. We don't have shut off valves here in my area. It's the push pull things. That's it. You pull it out, shuts it off, it's on a shark bite. I don't know if I like it or not, but it don't leak and it works. But I guarantee if it ever starts leaking, it's coming out and I'm gonna get a record of shut off valve. Then hold the handle down, get all the water out of there. That's about all the water you're gonna get. Get this out of the way. I don't really know where to put it. I don't know where I'd like to put it, but anyway. <laughs> Now we have to get a hold of this, this centerpiece here. And you gotta you gotta twist it till it pops out. There it goes. See that? What do I got? Well shoot. It's very simple. Whoops, you can see how that cracked? That just shows you it's a it's an old one. And that might have been what was causing it to leak. It might have been cracked right there. Just kind of clean that off. Don't freak out. This is just an old, an old wash rag I use out in the garage. I don't throw old socks and stuff away all the time. I'll use them to, do, you know, to check oil in the car or whatever. 
You guys know what I'm talking about. We do it all the time. So we just kind of clean that off. What I also do is down at the bottom down there, I clean that surface off down here too. It has a tendency to, to build up a little bit of, I don't know what you call it, but kind of like just water slime, you know what I mean, on the surface. And I think that, that affects how it seals. And as you can see, the new one is real flexible. And there's like a groove in here. It just kind of goes in there. Just like that. And we're in. So you can see here, this has got a little bit of an elongated lip. You have to match that up to that hole down there so it'll go in. You can see it. Oh, wait a minute, I want to clean that off. That looks kind of dirty down there. I know that when we flush the toilet, it'll all probably just go away anyway, but I want to clean all that off. And don't freak out, ladies. This is clean water down here. This is not the dirty toilet water. This water comes straight out of the straight out of the city water. There, I think I got it. I think. Let me wipe off some of this. We get some of that white uh, calcium build up in here. I think Sue's talked to you guys about that before. Even with the water filter system we have, we don't get near as much as we used to. But you're looking at right here, it's probably about eight or nine years of it. Because <laughs> I don't remember if I cleaned that off the last time or not. But anyway, now you have to get that lined up at that hole. Get the, the end right there lined up with that hole. Just like that. And then you gotta turn it till it clicks. Right there, that's it. She be done. And then you push that back in, turn the water on. Whoops, I gotta put this back in there, don't I? It'll take it a while to, to fill back up. Let me splash the water around here a little bit and get some of that stuff to go down the drain. There we go. She's a filling up. Okay, there you go. I just readjusted the ball now and it's not leaking and, and raised it just a little bit. Seems to be working okay. Some water's coming back in. Yeah, water's coming back in. I might, uh, next time I go to uh, Ace Hardware, I might get some new new hose right there. Still seems flexible. And if your handle gets loose, you have to wiggle it, you know? It's just, you just tighten it up right here. That little plastic piece right there. Get the handle adjusted on the outside where you want it. Turn that nut and hold it. And that, that'll hold it right there. shut off there you go right there easy peasy <laughs> you can do it if it starts to leak a little bit i say every so many years just put it on anywhere they're cheap they're not expensive easy done i show you how to do it refer to my videos if you need help again glad i could help see you on the other side <laughs>